<clears throat> Thanks for tuning in to another video update about Raptor 2 production. Got a few things to go over in this video. I just firstly want to apologize for not getting this one out at the end of last week. Unfortunately, Roan was sick. Everyone's been sick around here lately and we just couldn't get it done. So anyway, here it is now and um, thanks for watching. So we have resumed shipping. You can see here a few truckloads full of Raptor 2s going out. Uh, we actually did two separate batches uh, because there are some units that basically went through the QC process a second time to fix up any of the problems that were detected during the first batch. It was a huge month for us. It's one of the biggest batches or months ever and we're really happy that we're finally seeing things um, improve in terms of our volume in our production facility. So this could have been a problem but fortunately it worked out not to be a problem. As usual we are always trying to get the various bits and pieces we need to build Raptors in on time and on schedule and the e-tray which is where the Fox box are and where our BMS and a few other bits and pieces like the the switch and the charging port. We call that the e-tray the, the e and we nearly ran out of those due to some MOSFET shortages but fortunately that didn't happen and I'm glad to say that that's not going to cause any delays at the moment. Our wheels, we've been battling to get our wheels sorted out. We've obviously had some problems with the quality in the previous batch and we've gone through a whole process of sampling new wheels and everything looks great with the new wheels and we've also decided we're going to produce the next batch in a dark gray color because we want to differentiate from the previous batches just so that we can make sure that if anyone has any problems, we can easily track problems and identify them without mixing all of our stock up. So the next batch of wheels will be a nice dark gray that matches the battery case. I'm really excited about the ride or replace warranty. This is a market leading offer. None of our competitors can match this. What we are saying is if you own a Raptor 2 already, and it still has warranty left, or if you buy a Raptor 2, this warranty applies to you. It means if there's ever a fault or an issue with the Raptor 2 that cannot be easily resolved with simply sending out a replacement part, we're just gonna send you a new board. We're that confident in our product. We're backing it all the way. You can also buy longer if you want and extend that to two years. Basically what it means is we don't want you to be left with a product that's not functional. So we replace it. Simple as that. It's the best warranty in the game and we're super proud to announce it and we hope you all like it as well. The Fockbox Unity, if you haven't heard about this yet, it's basically two of the Fockboxes joined together in a new super compact high performance package. The Fockbox Unity has a higher current throughput, which is pretty amazing. It's mostly due to the thermal management functionality, the massive aluminium case, top and bottom. So the performance of this thing has been great. It will be in all the Raptor 2.1s that will be out later in August. But before we do any mass production in Raptor 2.1 with the Fockbox Unity, we're going to be doing a range of different tests. We've already done tests in our lab and some basic writing tests, but we're gonna get the product out to beta testers so that they can put it through the paces as well. And just some more news on the Raptor 2.1. One of the things that has annoyed a lot of our previous backers who got in early with the Raptor uh, two was the handle placement. A lot of people said they didn't like it. It was not balanced well. It hurt their hands. And I must admit, I was not willing to make the change 
with that because it was a structural element of the deck. But due to deck changes, I've been able to reposition that handle now. It's slightly off center in terms of wheelbase, but it's exactly in the center of the deck in terms of nose to tail. And the balance when you pick the Raptor up is going to be much better on your hand. It's going to be much more comfortable. And there's a new handle as well. So um, I'm happy to see that. We'll get some samples for that soon. But the Raptor 2.1 will all come with this updated deck design with an updated handle. And the rebate to weight program, we announced that last week. It's already off to a great start. The feedback from everyone has been fantastic so if you haven't got your credit yet please let us know we did have a few technical problems trying to manually update everyone's account there so be sure to let us know if you haven't seen it yet and we'll get you sorted out with your credit okay thanks again for tuning in we'll update with more news next week and yeah stay safe bye